there you're listening to the snowplow show for october 7th 2016 and today's show is sponsored by tony in arizona tony is a supporter of the show and you can be too by going to phonelosers.org slash cactus or support us on patreon at patreon.com slash phonelosers hey you know how uh, people are always trying to trick you on the internet and over the phone trying to say that you have a virus in your computer or it's the irs and they're threatening to put you in jail forever unless you send them $500 immediately through Western Union. Police in India have detained around 700 people believed to be involved in financial fraud, and these are the people that uh, pretend to be the IRS. It says that they were trying to convince recipients, or recipients, that they were from the IRS in order to con victims into forking over thousands of dollars payable via prepaid credit cards. 200 Indian police officers raided nine locations across one of India's largest cities. 70 workers have been formally arrested, and around 630 are being investigated. They expect many more people to be arrested. And you listeners are always sending me uh, numbers to these scammers, where you can call a toll-free number and you're automatically connected to a Microsoft scammer or an IRS scammer or whatever it is. And I've tried to mess with them before, but it never turned out that great. But that's kind of cool. I guess maybe a bunch of them have been arrested, even though I'm kind of on their side. I mean, if you're dumb enough to fall for those scams. Just let them have the money. We can afford it. We're Americans. That's today's amazing phone story, even though it was only sort of about phones. You can all rest easy now, knowing that you're not going to pick up the phone and get tricked by one of those guys. That's always been a concern of mine, so I'm really glad these people are behind bars now. So hey, I did a live show today, and that's what I'm going to play right now for you. It got kind of cut short a little bit by a power failure right around the end, so I lost 15 or 20 minutes waiting for the power to come back on. But we still had fun, and we all learned a lesson, and in the end we become better people. So here it is. Here is today's live show from earlier today. Okay, so uh, today I called some uh, lube job places, and uh, you know, I got, I, I said, hey, I do a prank call show on the internet. It's called the Snowplow Show, phonelosers.org, and uh, I need some numbers to prank call. Do you think you can give me maybe just a bunch of your customer phone numbers? And they're like, oh, okay, that sounds really cool. Let me pull it up on my computer here. And they they pulled it up and they gave me all their customer information. So today we're broadcasting on YouTube. If you're listening on the Mixler, um, there's video. If you want to get on the YouTube, it's phonelosers.org slash live. There's a link to it. Looks like there's 75 people listening on the Mixler. And only uh, 94 on the YouTube terrible okay so i'm just gonna get started i'm gonna call some of these numbers that a certain lube job people were nice enough to give to me this first lady she had tires put on her on her car and you know what i haven't done in a while i haven't told people that i accidentally put pepsi in their tires pepsi or helium you guys in the chat room should vote did i I put pepsi in her tires or helium it's probably not gonna pick up anyway so it doesn't matter Yes, Alex, I'll say it's okay because it was Crystal Pepsi. But it's all right because uh, she's not picking up. Your call has been forwarded. So my computer fan is spinning up really, really high. Like it's it's having a hard time. It's really struggling to, to do whatever it's doing. That's kind of a bummer. Tire rotation. Okay, we'll do this one for Adam. You guys want me to do the Pepsi thing. Yeah, send it to Geek Squad. What a great idea. Hello? Hello, Adam? Yes? Hey, it's uh, Roy from the lube job department. You came in and had your tires rotated? Yeah. And, um, you know, we aired those up and stuff, right? Okay. Um, There's a small problem. What? One of our employees, uh, uh, you know, we have the, the big tank of air here that we air up your tires with. Uh-huh. And we accidentally put the wrong tank on there. 
we, we got the tank from the, uh, the food department. And um, we basically, I'm so embarrassed to tell you this, I'm so sorry, but we filled your tires with Pepsi. You filled my tires with Pepsi? Yeah, instead of air. Instead of air, we we, uh, we squirted Pepsi in there until they were completely full. So you're going to get worse gas mileage now because your car is much heavier. Instead of, you know, light air, you've got Pepsi. Well, well, because on my way home, I noticed, too, that my car was shaking a whole lot. Oh, I don't know if that... Yeah, that could be it, because it's that... Li- no, I mean, like, literally, my tires up. and shit, no, yeah, the they li- were, like, my whole vehicle was shaking. Yeah, because the liquid's sloshing around, really, at, like, you know, 80 miles an hour. You know what happens when liquid sloshes around at 80 miles an hour, right? Right? Yeah. You know what happens? You know, you know what happens? 80 miles an hour, liquid sloshes around really fast? Oh, uh, is it? Well, if that's if that's pet popping my tires and crap and everything, I mean, well, it's not popping your tires; it's just making them slosh around. Like it wouldn't shake so much if you were an experienced driver and you knew how to drive better. Mm. Like just you know, learn learn how to control your car in all conditions. Ass face. Mm. That's what I'm saying, you know. Mm. But anyway, if you want to come back in, we can um, we can drain the Pepsi out of your tires and fill them up with air. All right. And you may want to do this soon because, as you know, Pepsi has lots of acid in it. All right. Well, what time do you guys close? Um, I don't know. We were thinking about cutting out a little bit early today. What time? What time are you thinking? Well, on, on- I'm gonna be over at here in uh, a minute so i will be in there to talk to somebody then okay well i i don't know we might close up the lube job department earlier today because you know i got shit to do all right you know but anyway um how do you feel about pepsi ah, blah, he hung up I, I don't think he was buying it he wasn't buying anything he wouldn't play along what a jerk what a horrible first call to do right after ding timber that was awful you guys should all be ashamed of me. Uh, let's call Hector. He got an oil change. Hello? Hello, Hector? Yes, who's this? Hey, it's Roy from the lube department. You were in here earlier today, and you got an oil change. Remember? Oh, yeah. Yep. Um, there's a small problem. What is it, man? Um, I put um, grapeseed oil in your car from the grocery department. I thought that'd be just as good, but uh, apparently that's uh, a problem. Well, what do you mean? What kind of grape seed oil? Or what? You know, grape seed. You know, grapes, and then there are seeds in the grapes, and then those produce oil. Oh, uh, there hasn't been a problem. Oh, that's good. Okay, I guess everything's fine then. Never mind. I'll let you go then. Okay, that's good to hear. I'm so happy. But thanks for letting me know, though. Uh, yeah. If yeah. anything happens, I know I know what to do. Yeah, you may notice when you're driving your car around, it smells like grapes. Like, you ever use grape shampoo in your hair? Mm, no, sir. Oh, okay. Wait, is this for cars, though? No, no, it's it's from the grocery department. We were running low on oil, so I, I went over to the grocery department, and I squeezed the oil out of grapes, grape seeds. And, um, you know, we just use those to fill up your car. Because, you know, when you're when you're in a pinch, you got to improvise sometimes. Yeah, I know, sir. I know. Uh, well, as long as they don't mess up my car, uh, and uh, I think it's gonna be well, fine. What, 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 what if it? Uh, what if it breaks down or something? Oh uh, no, it's not gonna break down. Is what's gonna happen is your exhaust is gonna smell terrific. That's it. Yeah, you remember that um, that that shampoo called? Gee, your hair smells terrific. No, sir. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, that's what your exhaust is gonna smell like. From now on. Hey, sir, can I get your name and your 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 employee ID number, please? Sure. My name is Roy, and I don't give out my partner number to people because you might use that to get free coffee or something. So, yeah, well, you no, know. but you just fucked up my car. But I, I oh, I didn't it. fuck up your car. Don't curse at me, motherfucker. I'm sorry. It's okay. I accept your apology. But well, okay. As long as it don't mess up my car, dude, you'll, 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 we'll be fine. Okay, no, it's your car's fine. It's gonna smell amazing. But 
what about I that I don't care about that. I just want to. I just want to. You don't care that your oil, your you car know? smells amazing. It's going to smell amazing. All right. So. Okay. Thank you. You don't have to be a pussy. All right. Oh. Uh, that that was uh, let's see that was Eli Malone's fault. He called Hector a pussy, and and I went along with it, and that made Hector hang up. So thank you, Eli, for fucking that all up. It's all your fault. <sighs> fucking Eli. Chad left his crack pipe in your jalopy. Okay. Yeah, I got to do the weed pipe thing. I, I can't do a, a whole thing of lube jobs and not have a, a weed pipe mishap. Got to do that. So one second. Hello? Hey, uh, this is Roy from the lube job department. Is this Chad? Yeah. Hey, Chad. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm pretty good. What are you doing today? Where, where'd you go after you got your lube job? What's what's up? What you doing? I'm uh, at home. Oh, what are you doing at home? Are you watching TV? You're playing around on the internet? Yeah, I'm watching TV, yeah. Oh, what's on TV? What are you watching? The Ranch. Why? The Where Ranch? The Ranch? Yeah. What's that about? I don't know. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, we ran into a, kind of a small problem. Okay. Uh, so when you were getting your oil changed here? Yeah. Look, you're, you're not going to be mad at me, right? We're, we're, we're friends. We've, we've been talking about things. We're, we're like, we're like just chatting, chatting it up. Like, you know, you're not going to be mad, right? Okay. So who is this? Okay. Are you sitting down? My name is Roy from the lube job department. Yeah. Yep. You're not going to be angry, right? Just promise me you won't be. I don't know what's the what's the problem. We um when when your your car was in here getting the oil change, uh, I did a firmware update yeah. on your car's computer. Yeah. And and your your car's computer it's running Windows 10 now. But not just on win- my truck. Yeah, on your truck. It's not just not just Windows 10 though. It's Windows 10 with the new update. Makes it all run really slow and. You might hear the fan power up a bunch, like more more often than it usually does. Like it's really doing a lot of. Are you from Ford or what? No, from the lube job department. Okay. Anyway, I upgraded your your uh, your truck computer to Windows ten ten point one. Okay, so now it runs like shit. You said no. It it's well, it's gonna you're gonna hear the process. You're gonna hear the fan spin up more than usual. Um, it's going to play Doom just perfectly now. That's the good part, but... Play, yeah, play like what? When, when Doom, you know Doom with the guns? You go around shooting guns and stuff. But, like, um, when you're rendering lots of video or, or maybe streaming on the internet, it's... And, and when you reboot the computer, that's that's when it sucks. My because truck doesn't have a touch screen or nothing, so I don't know. Yeah, you control it with the knobs on the radio. And you can, oh, pl- you can play okay. Minesweeper with that. But um, okay. like when you reboot your truck, it's it's sometimes it's just gonna hang on the reboot, and you just have to do a hard shutdown. It sucks. Is, is this about the two thousand three Ford F one fifty? Yeah, yeah. You got the oil change. Um, it it says well, here you guys didn't change my oil because uh, I got the. You guys said that my nut was stripped. <laughs> I, he was just making a, a sexual joke at you. <laughs> That's all. She, he didn't think you'd take that seriously. No, he said they didn't change my oil. I didn't pay for an oil change or nothing. Right? Yeah, but we were in there. We, we we went ahead. We felt bad, and we upgraded your your truck. We upgraded your truck to Windows ten, ten point one. But when he said your your nut was stripped, he, that was he was just fucking with you. He, he's he's like, I'm going to tell this dude his nut's stripped. And yeah, that's well. That's, I took. I, it's a Ford right now getting worked on because I thought. Oh no! That was just a joke. That you're you're. You're you're having your he nuts. Said unst- he, he, they said that he didn't put oil on my pickup. I didn't pay for anything. Right. Yeah. But we went ahead and upgraded your truck computer to Windows ten point one. Yeah. So my oil my oil didn't get changed, right? No, no, it didn't get changed. But your nuts not really stripped. He, he was trying to make a sex joke at you. Then why then why didn't my oil get changed? Because that's what I wanted. Because you know he he started the joke and then you took it seriously and then he felt weird about it, and then by that point it had, it had gone on just too too long, 
And um, well, why didn't you guys do the oil change then? But I'm telling you why because the it, it became awkward because you didn't get the joke and and he's just like, uh, oh, let's just we'll, we'll just we'll just let him leave thinking that those nuts really stripped and that's not not just a a dumb junior high sex joke. That, that's okay. that's basically what happened. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sorry about that. So, how much are they charging you to? I I hope they're going to look at it and they'll 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 hopefully they'll they'll know that it's not stripped, and they won't cheat you. Okay. You know that they, they won't. You know I think everything will be fine. Okay. Well, everything thanks. should be fine. Yep. No problem at okay. all. Um. So, uh, how long has that sh- TV show got left that you're watching? I don't know. Probably fifteen minutes. Oh, okay. So you got like 15 minutes left, or is it like an hour-long show? I got like 15 minutes left. Oh, uh, what are you going to watch? Like, what are you going to watch after that? I don't know. Like, I'm probably going to call a four to see how far my pickup's getting along. So. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you might want to do that as soon as possible before they start replacing that nut that's going to cost money. Yeah, you want to okay. do that as quickly as possible. Do you have a TiVo? Are, no, I do not. Are you able to pause live TV? Like, I, I'm not making you miss. Yeah, the I got a DVR. Sh- oh, okay. So I'm yeah. not. I'm not making you miss the show. <laughs> yeah, you I think got Netflix. So you can just pause it. Hey, have you seen that new show called Westworld? Do you have HBO? No, I don't. Not. Oh, it's amazing. I watched it last week. It's so good. You know, they released the the new episode early, so we get to watch the new one tonight. Sweet. Yeah, it's so fucking exciting. I'm so excited. Okay, man. I'll better let you go. I gotta call him. So yeah, yeah. Get, get, get better. You better call Ford ASAP. You need to hurry. Okay. Yep. Okay. We'll see you. Um. Also, I needed to tell you something. <laughs> <coughs> something else. <clears throat> you know. Yeah. Um. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Oh yeah, you're fine. <laughs> yep. At least we didn't put Pepsi in your tires, right? Because we've done that before by accident. <laughs> Okay. 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 Yep. We'll see you. All right. Yep. Hurry up and call them. Hurry. Hey, you, hey, you want me to put them on three-way? What? You want me to just put them on three-way? I could probably get their number. Oh, he hung up. I was gonna help him out. Damn it. I agree, Eli. Let's make a girl cry. Let's call a female next. Uh, this person's name is Don Davis. But that could be Don, like D-O-N, or it could be D-A-W-N. We don't know. There's no way to know until we call it up. Oh, wait, are you offering me $10 to make a girl cry? Okay. <laughs> you better hold up your end of the bargain on this. That should be one of my challenges, to make a, a guy cry. I've never made a guy cry before. Hello? Hey, Dolores? Yes. It's Roy from the the lube job department. You had an oil change today. Yes. Okay. Um. Okay. Are Are you sitting down? Well, no. But why? Oh, what are you doing right now? Well, I'm just uh, walking around. <laughs> oh, like like. Why, what, did something happen to my car? Or for, what? Are you Are you walking around for exercise or um just like yeah, are you, sort of like doing things like getting things done? Right. Okay. Okay. Well. Um. Um. Oh boy. Okay. Well. Okay. So you got your oil changed, right? Right. And we accidentally filled up your engine. Uh, instead of with oil, we filled it with peanut butter. I'm I'm serious. It's not a laughing matter. Peanut butter. Okay. Like they put the wrong tank on the oil machine that that squirts out the oil, you know? Okay. Th- this this idiot Chad, he's one of my coworkers. He he hooked up the wrong tanks. I don't know why they put all the tanks in the same room. Like for um you know, for for the food department, you know, the cafeteria area, they they have soda machines and once we filled up a, a customer's tires with Pepsi but no, we ac- we accidentally filled your um, your engine with peanut butter. Did you make it home okay? You mean you mean peanut oil? Yeah, peanut oil. Not peanut, peanut butter. Oh yeah, that's peanut, what I mean. I, I don't butter. I don't know the difference. I'm no gourmet chef. Okay. 
Okay, is it, this is not a joke. Oh, I would never joke. No. Nope, never. Okay, so what are you saying? I'm saying your car is filled with peanut butter. Did you notice... Or peanut oil, excuse me. Did you notice um, when you're driving, it smelled like uh, peanut butter? Like I you... didn't notice. All I did was drive it home, which okay. I don't live that far away. Did you have any weird cravings for a Reese's as you were driving home? <laughs> no, but look, I need to take that car somewhere tomorrow. If this is serious, okay. what am I supposed to do? No, okay. Well, here, you... here's, here's the thing, ma'am. Okay, here's the thing. I have good news for you. Like, you're going to feel so good about this. Like, like, everything's going to be great. Are, are you ready? You ready for the good news? Okay. Okay, the good news is I'm totally lying about the peanut oil and the peanut butter. We didn't, we, your engine's fine. We didn't put any, it's just regular oil. It's 10W30, synthetic oil. It's per, your, your car is perfect, or I mean the oil part is anyway. Okay. So everything, uh, okay, That as far as that goes, that's fine. So you're calling me because? Um, well, I, I, I was just, uh, I wanted to soften the blow. So I thought I'd tell you something really horrible and then tell you that didn't really happen. And then, and then I'll tell you what really happened. Okay. Well, just tell me because I own, I, I have to take that car somewhere tomorrow. Where are you I don't going? I know where this is going. Where, where are you going to? I'm going to Iowa. Oh, geez. Okay. Well, that, that's okay. Your car is going to make it because you got an oil change and everything's fine. Uh, except one thing. One thing. Just one thing. Are you sitting down? Okay, well, would you just please tell me? Yeah, um, I left my weed pipe in your back seat. <laughs> and I was wondering okay, if I... maybe you had seen it. I have no idea if this is serious or not. I, it's totally serious. I, I was when they were changing your oil. I I kind of slipped into your back seat, and you know had a little smoke, and then I my manager was coming, so I shoved it under the seat real quick. And um, under the seat, under the front seat. Yes. Um, yeah, I was in the back seat, and I shoved it under the front seat. Are you around there right now? Well, I am. I'm outside of my garage. My garage is probably locked. Okay. You're going to have to climb under your car. Okay, well, I need to get the keys. Now, you are not joking? Oh, no, I wouldn't joke. No, I was just... Um, I, are I you just... the person that changed my oil? No, no, that was Chad. Uh, I was... Um... I was just sweet. I was, you know, doing other things, and um, I just kind of slipped into your back seat, did some quick hot boxing, smoked a lot of weed inside your car. I hope it didn't smell because I did roll down one of the windows. You know. All right. I have no idea. And there's still weed in it, and if you find it, you can smoke what's left in there. It's okay. I don't mind. It, it's that'll be like your uh, reward for finding it. This seems like an April Fool's joke or something. Oh, yeah. But you know it's not because it's not April, so it's totally legit, everything I'm saying. Well, I don't know where, I don't know, I have no idea. Left left seat, right seat? Uh, behind the driver's seat. Okay, so like underneath your, your car's in the garage? Yeah, and I have a sleeping bag right there. Oh, There's nice. a sleeping bag. Nice, in the garage? Between the front seat and the back seat. Oh, yeah. Like, do you, do you sometimes just kind of pull over and take a nap in the sleeping bag? No, I take it with me. I'm, I'm going somewhere. Oh, to Iowa. You're going to like go camping? So what what do you need? Um, so I'm sure you didn't move the sleeping bag. Oh, I may have I, to like to put out the flame. I may have put the sleeping bag on top of the weed pipe, just so my boss didn't smell it because I had to put it out real fast. Um, if you look under your car, do you think do you think you could fit under your car? 
like on the driver's side if you were lay lay on the ground could you roll under and go to t- so now you're saying it's it's under the car i thought you were saying it's inside the car no no i was just i was just trying to ask like do you think you could roll under your car and then come out yeah, the but others? why would i have to do that i'm just curious i can't i'm too fat i've tried it's depressing, okay, you know. You get some old. It's kind of a joke. I I don't have time. I need to no, go it's, somewhere. No, it's not a joke. I'm just a little bit high right now because of the smoking weed in your car. Well, I have I have no idea. I I don't see or I don't see anything. Hey, you know how you have the the ashtray area with the change in it? I think you might have my car mixed up with somebody else's car. No, you know how you have change in your car, though? You know, money, like quarters and dimes and stuff? Well, I don't. I know, but you know how some people do? Okay, but even if I do, are you saying that there's something there that I'm supposed to be looking for? No, yeah, that's where I was going to put... I think that's where I set the weed pipe. I think you have the wrong car. No, no, it was definitely yours. Um, Like it says here, Dolores and... Yeah, this is the one. What kind of car? The dark colored one. I don't know. I don't remember because I was a little bit high. You know? Okay, well, I can't find it, so what are you wanting me to do now? I don't know. Maybe it was someone else's car. I, I bet you it was. I'm so sorry. Maybe I called the wrong person. Your, your name is uh, Ruby, right? No. Oh, crap. I called the wrong person. I'm so sorry. So sorry. What a silly m- mistake I made. I'm so sorry. Well, where did you get the name Dolores from? Oh, did I say that earlier? Maybe it was your car. Did you look under the sleeping bag? Because I remember a sleeping bag. I do remember the sleeping bag. Well, I have looked under it. And there wasn't a hole burned through it from my weed pipe? No. Okay, it was probably someone else's car then. Okay, and if I find it, I'll be sure to throw Uh, it away. Paul from the chat room says you're giving too much dead air. And then he, he... said a bad word but i'm not going to repeat it because it's not nice it's not respectful to women i don't have any idea what you're talking about dead air like you should talk more because we're trying to entertain people here damn it okay so you're done with me it's somebody else's car yeah it must be i'm going to call everyone on the list until i find out who has my weed pipe okay goodbye okay um have a nice walk and stuff Ma'am? Ma'am? Dolores? Hello? Dolores? Hello? Hello? Do you need something else? Um, no, like what? What is your name? Roy? I don't know if it was your car or not, but I did take a bath in the sleeping bag. And I know okay. now I know now that I shouldn't have done that. Gee. Uh Crimson, he he told me to tell tell her that I took a bath in the sleeping bag. <laughs> that made her hang up for some reason. Okay, uh, Carrie in tire. Justin carried in a tire, had it fixed. I don't know, what, what should I say? What, what do we do to his tire? So he probably brought in a tire. It wasn't on the car, he just brought it in, uh, got it patched or whatever. Hello? Hey there, is this Justin? Yes, it is. Hey, Justin, it's Roy from the, the tire and lube department. You brought in a tire today? Yep. And there's a small problem. Did did, did, okay. the, did the tire work for you and everything? Got all patched and all yeah, that? Yeah, it's fine got, for got, now, yeah. Have you got it back on the car? Yes. Oh, man. Okay, well, I dropped my wedding ring in there. 
Really? So you're going to have to bring it back in. Um, uh, well, I'm actually already like like almost an hour away from there, but I'm coming back on Sunday. I can drop it back off. Oh, that's not good enough. Like, if you don't bring it back, I'm going to call the police on you for stealing my wedding ring. What? I'll, I'll call the police on you. That's a $2,000 wedding ring. I'm not just going to let you take it out of town. Who do you think you are? It's not my fault you dropped your fucking wedding ring in my tire. Well, it's not my fault either. It was an accident. Well, it's, it's nobody's that's not fault. Stealing. It's kind of stealing. I mean, you you just told me you're you're going away and you're you're not coming back till Sunday. And um, no, yeah, no, I'm on a family vacation. Yeah, but you know, I need my I need my ring back. My wife's gonna freak Look, out. I'm already broke down on the side of the road again with another flat tire, so <laughs> <laughs> I can't even move right now. So I really don't. I'm not concerned. Why didn't you fix that tire? Is it the same? One, is it the same one that you had fixed here? No, it's the one right behind it. It blew out too. Well, it's not blown out yet. Oh, it'll be blown out soon. God, you know, um, keep your tires updated. Well, I'm not really you, having any luck today either. Yeah, keep your tires updated, you damn hobo. You know, just just they're, they're not that expensive. We we've got them here for seventy nine ninety nine per tire. Yeah, I know. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, why, why don't you just, just there and just bought one? Get, stop driving around on bald tires, dummy. So, did you hear it rattling around like the ring? No, I don't hear anything in the tire. Oh, can can you um? Can you uh, drive it back and forth a few times real real fast and, and just see if you can... Yeah, do- I'm spinning it in my... I'm jacked up there and I'm spinning it. I don't hear anything. You're, you're There's spinning nothing in there. the one that you had fixed today? Yes. Why do you have that one off the ground? I don't have it off the ground. I'm spinning because it's jacked up in the air. Oh, you jacked up the whole side instead of just the one tire yeah, that you need to Yeah, there's the tire behind it, yeah. Oh my god, you're such an amateur. Maybe you should get you your tires. I I'm not really concerned about your wedding ring. So if you want to call the cops, you can call the cops. But okay, well I'm gonna. You know, we we have your your billing information. I will drop it off on Sunday, but that is the best I can do because I'm already broke down on the side of the road. I can't even go anywhere. I'm so just, I really don't need to. I'm just gonna charge it to the credit card you use to have your tire repaired. Good luck with that. Good well, luck I, with that. I will. You, you just watch me. I can do it. I've done it before. Okay. Well, I guess uh, we'll get it figured out then, won't we? Okay. Well, when are you gonna bring it back? Like Sunday then? Oh, poor guy. <laughs> He's having the worst day ever. He gets one tire fixed and then he breaks down, leaving town for the weekend. Poor guy. I hope he has a good vacation. He sounds like he needs it. It's this damn computer. The fan keeps spinning up. I have two cameras running. Maybe I should turn one off. That's what I should do. Yeah, let's get rid of this one. Wait, no, I just turned it on. Turn it off. There. No, not that one. There we go. Okay, let's call uh, Let's call Ruby. We're going to make Ruby cry. That's the funniest thing to do in a prank call is make a girl cry. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Damn it. All right. No answer on that guy gotten a lot of answers today. All right, what am I saying to the next lady? She got an oil change. Her name's Ruby. What can I say to make Ruby cry? So, uh, hey, if uh, everyone's saying I'm going offline. If I'm going offline is what you need to do, and you won't hear this because I'm I've gone offline, but um, go to phonelosers.org. Any any page, well, phonelosers.org/live and uh, listen that way through the Mixler. The Mixler's working, right? Is it just the YouTube that's going off? Now it's back. Yeah, you guys, maybe I should shut off YouTube, but I want to do that because you guys are in the chat room. Nope, you're just going to have to deal with it. But it was, what I would do is I would watch the YouTube, but listen to the Mixler. Just go to phonelosers.org. It'll automatically start playing. That'll fix everything. Just turn off your audio on YouTube. Yeah, that's what you should do. Hello. Hello, Ruby. Yes. Hey Ruby, it's Roy from the, uh, the lube job department. You got an oil change with us today. Yes. And um, yeah, did, did did you make it home okay? Is everything working all right? Yes. That's good to hear. Um, uh, how long how long of a drive is it to your house from from the lube job place? Well, um, I'm visiting my daughter, so it's right here in town oh thank god thank god thank the baby jesus thank god okay that's good that's good to hear no i'm just saying that's good 
you didn't have to drive that far. That's good. Right. All right. So um, here's the problem. There, mm-hmm. There's a small problem. Are you sitting down? Yes. Okay. Um, are you sitting on like a couch or a chair? <laughs> a chair at the table. Okay. Good. Good. I just want to make sure before I before I tell you. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready for? Maybe I should call back tomorrow. Maybe I should let. let I I should do that. I should call back tomorrow after you've had time to um, simmer down and. You won't be as mad at us about it. No, what is it? I'm not going to be mad at you. What okay, is it? okay, all right. Um, I accidentally lost something in the back seat, and I wanted. Uh-huh. And um, you know, while while you were getting your oil changed, um, I lost something in your back seat. Okay, what um, is it? It was my innocence. Oh. <laughs> You know, there, there's th- this this girl. She works over in the sporting goods department, and you know, uh, we one thing led to another, and next thing you know, we're going at it in your back seat while your oil's in the getting... back seat of the little car. This is a very small back seat. Oh, we're small. We're small people. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't, don't call me fat. I'm not fat. But anyway, oh, okay. um, yep. My that was my first time with the girl. It was pretty awesome, and I just I feel like you were a part of it because it was your car. And I just wanted mm. to thank you. Okay. My innocence is gone forever. Okay. So, is there anything more that you need to tell me about the car? No, no. I just wanted, I, I guess, just wanted to thank you and stuff. And I don't know. If if I got her pregnant, I'm going to make you the godmother. Oh, okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, well, um, I hope you enjoyed your oil change. I know I sure did. Good. Okay. And um, you have a nice day. All right, thank you. All right, bye, Ruby. Bye. 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 <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice call. Nobody cried. I like how nobody... That's my favorite part, how nobody cried during that call. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, someone just posted in the chat room, uh, Red Farmer, Red, Red Farmer, uh, says I forgot to do something, so I just need to call her back. Hello? Um, I'm sorry, Ruby, one more thing, um, um, so this girl, uh, she wants to know, she wants to know if you're going to give us any problems, um, with paying child support. No. Okay, so uh, we're thinking maybe two hundred dollars a month should cover it. Um. Okay, but I would just like you to not call me again. Oh no, I won't. I won't. Well, I mean, I'll probably have my lawyers call in about nine months to get the child support. All right. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Thanks. Have a good day. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that because 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 I don't know. It, it ended so well before, but I had to ask her about that. Yep, that's what I had to do. Okay, I think I'm done with this place. I've done everything I can. Um, But it's okay, because I have other numbers here. I have another store. So, um, I don't know. Let's take a quick break. I'm going to take a break. And you guys are going to take a break. And we're going to do synchronized peeing and stuff. And I'm going to get this other store all set up. And then we'll have, like, I don't know, 20 minutes more of calls until xyz starts his show so uh um let's play everyone's favorite artist Control D's nuts part two. Getting drunk and recording like you know how we do. And this beat is pretty fresh because B Bear made it. Beefy sampled on this shit, so you know he's gonna hate it. Shining on with a song about pussy and grills. My buddy Rappy's on this track because he's got the mad skills. My eight bars are almost over, so it's time for me to go. Now I'll pass it on direction and say, Cool story, bro. Yo, I just. 
to smell a pussy fart through his mushy like lard Heart like a shark Hark! To the lord of the land Benjamin Bear is a motherfucking man Rappy McRapperson is his number one fan They biscuits at night, my triscuits are tight I get in the fights with homeless street mimes Look at my rhymes, you know they shine Cause I mind snap, set you all on fire Dance around the place with a six six smile Yes, I mind snap, don't think I won't try Never said I was a thug, but my tracks don't lie Cause I mind snap, set you all on fire Dance around the place with a six six smile Yes, I mind snap, don't think I won't try Never said I was a thug, but my tracks don't lie So windy, met this girl named Cindy Hopped in the Volvo, windows tinty So minty, my breath but the windy currents Through her dress, yikes Real queef bunnies, saw it on the internet and thought it was funny But in real life, that, that shit, shit was, was crazy. crazy Got me switching lanes in the game like a baby baby Well beyond the stratosphere, planet stars in space Crust 108, oh has a ride sprinkling some diamond dust Chipping rust off that gigantic water dwelling metal droid That will awaken lives and take it to cities left destroyed You don't have to make a choice, so many flavors of the fountain drink Suicide style, fill that cup, take a sip, yo what you think? Kill the rappers on this track, perk your ears up when we rhyme be sure to keep your eyes shut when these geeks get to shine Cause I might stamp Set you all on fire Dance around the place with a six six smile Yes, I might snap Don't think I won't try Never said I was a thug But my tracks don't lie Cause I might snap Set you all on fire Dance around the place with a six six smile Yes, I might snap Don't think I won't try Never said I was a thug But my tracks don't lie These are great producers Mitch Rivera's the fucking tits Tits, 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 tits. Been a cave in rock, way up in Illinois, where the noises echo like your hole. When my boys are exploring the hideaways of long ago pirates, maybe with some coaxing, I could get you to try this. No? Okay, baby, steady on, steady on. The song continues on while my shine is long gone. Wrong, bitch, I'm back and I'll never go away. TCP the crackhead pervert, nervous when I play. I stick the meat on my grill You should give me a dollar bill I got the TP, y'all better see me 62% of the people wanna be me And people tell me that I'm in the house Until I tell them I will fuck the cow Shine! I got the large amounts I'm from outer space like the killer clowns Alright, I hope you guys all enjoyed that 15 minutes of silence For the uh, victims of Hurricane Matthew in Florida even though it's Florida, whatever, you know, they, they deserve uh, 15 minutes of silence. So yeah, my power went out. Uh, that seems to happen at this house approximately once per month. Maybe every other month sometimes when I'm lucky. I think I'm back online everywhere, but I'm basically just here to say goodbye because, uh, you know, it's, it's time for the XYZ show. So basically you can blame XYZ for uh, me not doing much else. But we have five minutes. Nobody's talking in the YouTube chat room, and I don't know why. Uh, I guess, is, is, is it not connected for me? Here, let me refresh. How do you refresh? Okay, never mind. Forget refreshing. Let's just call this oil change customer. Let's see if I can get through to just maybe one more person or two before XYZ starts. Stup- Hello? Oh. Hey there. Is this Mike? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the Lube Job Place. How you doing? Fine. That's good. Um, so, uh, you know, uh, does your your car make it make it out of here okay? Everything go all right? Yes. Thank God. Okay. Have you driven it a lot since you left here? Um. Yeah. You said from the lube job place. I don't really understand what. You're, oh, you know, you got the uh, you got the uh, the oil change, the synthetic oil. Oh, today. It's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, well, that's good to hear. Um, yeah. So, um, are you sitting down? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Here we go. I I want you to try to not be angry. Okay. Are, are you a, an excitable person? Do you have any heart conditions or uh, anything like that? What are you trying to What are you trying to tell me? Um, well, I just wanted to make sure you're not like on a pacemaker. Or you, you don't have a high blood pressure no. or anything, and you're sitting no. you're sitting down. 
Okay. Um, I think I left a condom, a used condom, in your back seat. What? I I think. Because cause I thought I threw it um, out on the floor after, but um, I think I think uh, I probably just kind of left it in the in the floorboard, in the back seat. Why? Because I I just I, I meant to throw it out on the floor, but I I think uh, maybe I missed because it wasn't out there, so I think it's still back there. There there's a used condom in your back seat. I, I don't understand why you, that would even happen. Yeah, it's it's embarrassing. I'm so sorry. Uh, just, you know, um, I, I just, uh, you know, I, I had sex in the back seat of your car and I accidentally left the condom back there and the wrapper too. What are you talking? What are you talking about? I was watching my car this whole time. We we came in kind of around the corner and ducked under the car and opened up the back the back door. Who is this? My name is Roy from the lube job department. And why would you do that? Um, well, I don't know. It's just kind of a thrill. You know, for me and me and what's her face over there uh, over in the deli. So, I just wanted to apologize apologize for that. Are are you looking are you looking? Oh, he he hung up for some reason. I don't know why. Yes, good point, Sunshine. Who watches their car the entire time and gets a lube job? Why would you do that? Like that's so boring. You're you're inside a, a store. Go look around at things. Go browse. Just sit there and watch. Like, what did he do? Just stand there? Does he like stand over people while they're working? Tell them that they're doing things wrong. God. Oh shit, it's 12.29, so I- I'm just going to do a quick one here, and then and then it's XYZ time, you guys. I lost track of time there. I should just do a show over XYZ. You know, who does he think hello? he is? Oh, hello? hello? Oh, hello, Mar- Marvin? No, he's not here. Oh, okay, uh, is this, um, yeah, so is he going to be back soon? At th- around three o'clock, he comes back. Okay, can you let him know he came? He this is the tire and lube job department. Um, he came in oh. and had a tire repaired today. Yes. Do, do you know about his flat tire? What? Do you know about his flat tire? Yeah, I know. I know he had it uh, taken somewhere. Yeah, yeah. He came over here. He brought it to the lube job department, and we fixed it for him. It's all fixed. Oh, and he can pick it up now? No, no, no. He he left with it. He's got it. There's just a yeah, small... Yeah, There's a problem. There's a I small... I thought he did. Yeah, there's a problem. Can I tell so you about what do you, the... What, what do you want him to do? Okay, there's a problem. We accidentally filled up his tire with helium instead of oxygen. Oh, really? Yeah, so it's... Uh, he needs to... Like, is it, o- is it over there? Is there... Um, do you know where the tire is? No, I don't. Because, um... When he comes back, I'll tell him about it. And okay, you're going to need to put, like, a brick on top of it or something so it doesn't float away. And do what? You're going to need to put a brick on top of the tire so it doesn't float away. You know? Well, isn't the tire on the car? Well, okay. Oh, is it? Oh, Oh, my goodness. Okay, well... So whatever tire that was, it's got helium in it. It's going to float up in the air. So uh, one of the corners of his car might float up in the air a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. So uh, tell him not to take corners too fast. Cause his or should he come in to have that changed? Uh, no, just tell him to be more careful. It, it'll, it'll wear out eventually, probably, I think. Okay. I'll yeah, just, tell him that. Yep. Just, just let him know that... Uh, there's helium in his tire, and his car could start floating up in the air at any moment. Okay. Got to be careful. Tell, I'll tell him tell, about it. Yep, tell him to be careful. All right. Okay. Thanks for calling. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, Have bye-bye. a nice day. What are you doing today? Are you watching TV? No, not. I have a, a neighbor lady has stopped in. Oh, who, which one? What's her name? 
Susan Walkner. Oh, Susan. Can you tell Susan I said hello? Okay, who are you? Uh, my name is Roy from, from the Tire and Lube Department. Just tell Susan, be like, hey, Susan, Roy Roy says hello. Roy from the tire place. You want to talk to her? I'll hand the phone to her. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> yes, please. Okay. Hello? Hey, Susan? Uh, yeah? Hey, what are you doing over at Mrs. Siebert's house? Visiting. What, what are you talking about? Nothing. Who is this? My name is Roy. I work over at the uh, the tire place. Marvin came over and he uh, he had a tire, a uh, flat tire repaired. Oh, yeah? Yep, yep. That's what he did. So are you the next door neighbor or do you live across the street? No, I'm not next door neighbor and I don't live across the street. I live in York. Oh, in I'm York? In Hastings. I live in Hastings. Oh, in Hastings. Um, How... How much is your house worth? I don't have a house. Oh, an apartment? I don't have an apartment. Where do you live? In a box? Yeah. Do you live in a trailer or something? No. Hmm. Hey, you know, I don't want to be questioned, okay? Well, I'm, I'm just... I just had a few questions. Um, How much do you make per year? I don't know. Oh, uh, Can you look it up real quick? She gave the phone back to me. Okay, well, listen, I gotta go. XYZ show is starting, and he's gonna get really angry if I do a show over him. And and I don't, you don't want to see XYZ angry. No. Okay. All right. Well, um. And what what did you want me to tell my husband? Tell him, tell him that you love him, and give him a kiss. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. All right. Have have a good day. You too. Goodbye, Mrs. Siebert. Bye-bye. Goodbye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they, they should be having a very interesting conversation for the next hour. So you are welcome, Susan and Mrs. Siebert. Uh, you, you're, you know, you're welcome for, for, a, for a good conversation starter. Let's see if uh, XYZ is on yet. What page should I go to? I can't believe there's still people listening after... After my power outage, the power went off for just a few minutes. I have battery backups up here, but my modem is not backed up. I need a battery backup for my modem. So my shows won't end when the power goes out once per month, all the time. So anyway, thanks for listening, everyone. I'm going to go off the air, whether or not XYZ's on. And oh my god, there he is. Hey, he's playing my song. Okay, all right. I I, I got to turn that off before uh, YouTube yells at me. All right, bye everyone. See ya. Bye. Okay, cue the the fading in harp music. I really need to get that as a sound effect so that you guys uh, know the difference between live show Brad and pre-recorded show Brad. This is pre-recorded show Brad. The live show's over. And I guess before we get going, we should probably just do some voicemails. So if you hate the voicemails, you should just tune out now because you're not a real fan of the show. Hello, this is Mr. Hunga Dunga for the People's Karma Squad. As usual, your listeners are wrong. Hey, Mr. Hunga Dunga, here's a crazy idea. When you call into a show to leave a voicemail, maybe turn the blaring radio down all the way. Or halfway, maybe. We should make the card name one August. Call it... Dingus. Also have a better idea. It's much more economical oh, than less syllable. Feel free to use it. Bye. Bye. Yeah, make sure you uh, linger on this radio stuff for a little while before you hang up. Hey, Roy. This is Wig. Haven't called in in a while. I just wanted hey to there. find out uh, what happened to science. The show science. How, how the Frank fuck should I know? Information and missed that show. And also um, on one of your card reading shows I was listening and you said uh, someone asked about calls of mass confusion you mentioned it and I looked it up and it looks like all the videos are deleted are you guys oh, no. still oh. going to do that or are you moving the channel I wonder what happened anyway keep hmm. up the great work love Ding Timber I don't Talk know and yeah I don't know where the science show is didn't someone else just ask me that it's out there somewhere hey Brad you know what happened to calls of mass confusion 
So it's like he put out this video what? asking for people to donate Something on happened Patreon, to it? which I did. And then all of a sudden, the next day, he blocked me on my Patreon. His YouTube channel is down. Ugh, uh, what a dick. I have no clue what's going on. I'm really about to lose my shit. I'm giving him money, and this is how he repays us. He just Ugh. takes our money and ditches. What the fuck is going on Fucking here? Fucking Jihad. Yeah, I don't think any of that's true. Jihad's not out scamming us. Quit making up stories. Hey, Brad. Pip boy again. Hey, Pip uh, Just boy. wondering what happened to Cal. Call the mass confusion. What? Uh, the Calls channel went what? down. Patreon's gone. Uh, and I'm standing here with my dick in my hands. What's going on? Get back to me, bud. I don't know. It's not my show. Why don't you guys ask G hey, at or Brad, something? It's Battle Boner, of course. And, um, hey, Battle Boner. I hear what the fuck happened to the uh, Cold and Mass Confusion uh, YouTube channel and Patreon. It's all down. Well, you, you don't say. <laughs> the channel what? name has been changed to C. The name of the Patreon has been changed to C. And there's just nothing there. What the fuck happened? He probably I was really looking forward to banned you. I think all of the rest of us can see it. It's probably just you. You probably got banned. It's probably just something personal against you. Jihad probably doesn't like you or something. We called him that confusion. That was fucking amazing. Please don't tell me Dwight went back to phone marking and it was all an elaborate ruse. All right, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. This is totally the first I've heard of it. Hi, RBCP. Uh, third, long-time listener, first-time caller, um... This is this is Jihad. Oh, uh, hey Jihad. A little nervous calling. Speak of the devil. You wow. Um, so some of your fans may be asking the question, what happened to call some mass confusion? How did you know? Well, the reality of the situation is we got in trouble. What? That's right. Oh, when we were out recording a couple of weeks ago. Um, me and both of my cameramen were out, and we were first approached by mall security, and then they were accompanied by cops, and we were arrested. Holy we crap! The rules, and we were arrested again. Um, so now we you are get it again. All facing like uh, basically the charges are disturbing the peace or uh, uh, disorderly conduct style charges. Same thing you'd get if your dog was barking too much. Yep. So nothing too major, but truth is, is uh. We don't think we're guilty of that because of the uh, bylaws that go with that. Yeah, what were you guys doing? You're, you're just walking around with the camera. Me and Carlito and Laugh Track Matt and Dwight, we're the ones that were making the calls. By truck charge. So we all got lawyers and are now going to fight it. Um, not that anybody cares about the personal stuff, but... Oh, come on. Of course the, we do. The, don't be uh, silly, G. is calls mass confusion is now delayed and... Chances are my cameraman won't want to record any more of it, so... You know, before, Jihad was telling me that Calls of Mass Confusion is mostly just done with. So hearing that it's delayed, that's really good news, you guys. Hopefully he really means that. If we're lucky we will have 20 episodes that will be released at some point, but as one could imagine, all this has got to blow over before any of it's released, and I will probably just let RB release it all on his what? personal site. So... Yay! Arby gets free material. So, just wanted to give a quick update. People were probably wondering. Um, I, I, I did, I did five days in jail. I was raped twice, and I joined a racist uh, black street gang. Um, it's the only way to stay alive in there. Yep, it's a you know, good idea. Way. So, no, I'm kidding. We walked in, basically walked right out. Less than an hour later, just bonded ourselves out. But regardless, we got to go to court and fight it. So. This is a little longer in a minute, but it's exciting news. So, <laughs> yep. hey. Sounds right. exciting. Thanks. Goodbye. And it's all your fault. <laughs> yeah, so Jihad, he's not kidding. They actually got arrested by mall security. I mean, you know, the mall security, they called the police on them, and they had to go down to the police station and get booked and everything. And this happened a few weeks back. Me and Carlito and Dwight and Laugh Track Matt, maybe Axpa, I think. But we were doing uh, phone calls around a mall, and I guess the mall didn't really appreciate our phone calls, and they figured out that uh, three guys were walking around with uh, cups in their hands. You know, hidden camera Slurpee cups. So that all happened. All of their stuff got confiscated, so we don't even have the video footage from that day. And I don't think they got their stuff back, but I'm not sure. I'm sure they will eventually, though. And then maybe, I don't know, years from now or something, he'll release the video of a call I was in the middle of making, and... We actually heard in the background of the phone call while I was talking to the cashier lady, we heard security walk up and be like, hello, gentlemen, or something like that. So someday that, that'll that make a pretty hilarious episode of Calls of Mass Confusion. 
And uh, me, personally, I don't know what's going to happen with Calls of Mass Confusion after this all blows over. But there are a lot of episodes that Giad and Axpa and uh, everyone else has already put together. Like, they're completely finished, they're ready to go. But I guess for now, we're just going to put it off for a little while and see what happens. So it's a bummer. Calls of Mass Confusion is just gone for a little while. But I am sure it's all going to be back eventually. One way or another, it'll come back because we've put a lot of work into this. But the, the real bummer here is that Giad and Band and the other cameraman whose name I always forget. I'm sorry, other cameraman. Don't hate me. But they've got to deal with all this uh, legal stuff now and possibly fines. And they got lawyers, so they have lawyers' fees now. And personally, I think we should set up some sort of a fundraiser. And we've sort of talked about that, but then Giad, he's like, nah, don't worry about it, I've got it. So I don't know what they plan to do with that, but I would totally support a fundraiser if you guys set one up, or if someone sets one up. I mean, not someone, not just a random listener. But you guys know what I mean. Hopefully they won't be found guilty of some kind of crazy terrorism charge and end up in prison for 11 years. That'd be a bummer, but at least you guys would have a good story to tell from it, right? Hi, Ron. Hi. I was hoping that, since you're a phone-freaking hacker, I was wondering if you That's would be me. able to uh, hack into DARPA, like the uh, the weather machine that, that like, controls weather on the Earth and stuff. Like, like in and Superman. you can get us, like, a month and a half of snow here. Okay. Because I live in low-income housing, and, like, my neighbors complain that never gets cold enough here in BC. Why don't you just make West more money? That, uh, to kill all the stupid bugs, and then, uh, yeah, I'm trying to keep this under 30 seconds, and then, uh... Oh, you're failing. Uh, yeah. 39 seconds now. But, uh, yeah, we need, like, a month and a half of snow, so, like, a, a nuclear winter would be awesome, but, yeah, there was, com- uh, people I'll, here complain that... I'll see what I can do with all my hacking skills. Bugs here, and that people catch bugs, like the flu and stuff. Yeah, anyway, don't play this on your show. Okay, I won't play this, I promise. Or do, I don't care. It's not gonna, oh, okay, I will then. Thanks for calling, unknown person from Canada. Roy, launching dogs across parking lots, pouring five pounds, six pounds, twelve pounds of ticks down into a gas tank. Come on, man. Get back to the real deal. You know, I was working under your I like car. my prank calls as cartoonish and unplausible as possible. Or don't, hey, oh, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Why I was working under your car, or I was towing your car, I was moving your car to a different... <laughs> I mean, that's great stuff, but come on, just launching dog. <laughs> I only God, did it once, man. or twice. Don't. Bye. Yeah, I'll try to do better next year. Hey, Brad, I was just listening to uh, the most recent show, the 29th. Mm-hmm. Uh, Ding Timber show mm-hmm. um, and you were talking about a comment that someone left on YouTube that uh, referenced, referred to you as um, uh, he who walks behind the phone lines and you said oh that's very poetic and I wasn't sure if you actually got the reference it's a reference to um, a film called uh, Children of the Corn oh. um, who in the, in the movie um there are some children who worship this uh, mysterious yeah, yeah. god figure, mm. um, and they call him He Who Walks Behind the Rose. That old movie, um, because it's like a rural town in the yep. U.S. and the, yep. you know there's corn growing. And I actually watched that movie for the first time last year, and I don't remember that at all. It, the, the story kind of revolves around corn. <laughs> it's it's better than it sounds. Yeah. Um, yep. Yep. It's so a if classic. Anyone listening is into kind of mid seventies. Uh, horror films they should check that out it's yeah yeah we get it cool. um, children of the corn the, the, the kids they, they worship this god character I, and I they know. go crazy and murder all the adults in the, we in get the it it's weird right? it's a horror um, movie yeah and I wanted to make sure you know everyone knew there was a reference to that movie and I wasn't I mean, maybe you got it and you just didn't want to say it no no I had no idea it's a good reference and I liked it so that, yeah bye well I think it definitely sounds cooler on my show than in that that movie breath this is Batman from the 970. Oh, hey, Batman. I want to say congratulations on the successful Ding Timber. Thanks. Cacti, cacti. Bye. Bye. Thanks. Thank you, Batman from the 970. And I, I think that's a good voicemail to end on. So let's end the show for today. Thanks, everybody, for listening to the show and for tuning in to the live show and putting up with my weird power outage thing that happened. And thank you, Tony in Arizona, for sponsoring the show today. 
Your support is appreciated much more than the other listeners support, Tony, because I like you. I think you're a cooler person than the average listener. The rest of the people, they're okay, but you're the best, Tony, so thanks for supporting the show. If any of you other average listeners would like to support the show, you can do that by going to phonelosers.org slash cactus or support us on patreon.com slash phonelosers. Today's show was produced by Miguel F., Buster C., and Jason B., and audio engineering was by Brian W., Todd L., and Robert S. And, of course, a special thank you to Julian J. and Cody A. There, I got rid of the February sponsors. Got that all taken care of. Okay, bye, everyone. Bell control to lineman Bob. Because you don't work for the city, because if you worked for the city, you'd give me your last name. Well, you didn't ask for my last name. What's your last name, Roy? I'm not going to tell you. Exactly. Bye. Bye.